The COVID crisis is hitting some communities harder than others for a financial health checkup. We are turning to Sochil Leon, a senior vice president of the Hispanic segment strategy at Wells Fargo and Company. And how would you say the economic downturn has affected the Latino community? The Latino community has been disproportionately impacted by the economic slowdown. According to the Abriendo Puertas survey that was conducted in June, this was a national survey, um, we know that or we learned that about 30% of Hispanic families have someone in their family who lost their job. We also learned that about one third of Hispanic small business owners had to shut down their business or saw a reduction in revenue. And we also learned that about 40% of Latino families were struggling to either pay their rent or their mortgage. So quite concerning, the one good great silver lining that we see throughout times for the Latino community is that the level of optimism and resiliency continues to be very high. About 76% of Latinos are optimistic of you know, turning this around and, and picking up. What are some recommendations to best manage financial health during this crisis? Yeah, no, that's such a great question. You know, right now it, it's, it's a time to spend some time looking at your money management, what's coming in and what's coming out. There are a lot of great resources that banks have to set up either savings plan or spending plans to make sure that they're aligned with your goals. One thing that I do personally to just manage my own spending is I have alerts for any expenses with my debit card or my credit card. I have a credit card that I share with my mother, with my husband and myself. So anytime anyone uses it, I get an alert on my phone and I'm able to either have a discussion about a surprise or you know talk to my bank if I see that there's suspicious activity. So that's one tip about money management. And then second, and, and very important, is that there are a lot of resources right now for families and small business owners who are financially struggling. So this is not the time to, to be humble, to, to be shy. This is the time to pick up the phone, get online, go talk to you know a representative and ask for accommodations or, or, or plans that help you, um, you know, carry through during these difficult times. Well, good to get your insights. Thanks for being on our show. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.